Okay, finally, finally, the fight. Let's go. First time, give me a. Ooh! Hey, hold up. Okay, let's see what we got here. Alright. I heard it's a 4 piece noblesse. Yup. Thundering Pulse. Increases attack by 20%, and you get stacks. You have 3 stacks that you can get of this Thundering Emblem. Energy is less than 100% stack, disappears when energy is full. So basically, this weapon wants you to ult whenever you have it up. Okay, cool. So you can maintain uh, the best auto attack damage. Hey, yo, she looking nice. She looking nice. Alright. Let's first try Zing Show. I oh, know what, let's get her burst first. I should have brought like a, a, a pyro battery. Wow. Okay, no, it's good. This. I'm gonna try Zing Show first. Yoimiya. Yeah, whoa, 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 vaporize. Yo. Okay, I wanna try this again. Okay, I wanna try this again with Zing Shou's ult. Time to act. Know my sword. Okay, don't kill them. Let me weave you a burst. Okay, Zing Shou's attack is at 1336. Fire no. Withdraw. They're dying too fast. Oh, there's more. This V price is insane. Zing Shou is the combo. Okay, let's try. Let's try Zing Show's ult after using Yomiya's Q. Are you serious? Alright, I gotta wait 17 seconds. So, one of Yomiya's passives is that okay, shots from Yomiya's normal attack will increase her power damage by 2% on hit. This effect lasts for 3 seconds. So, you can get up to 20% power damage damage, but you probably won't get 10 stacks. Just because you can't hit that many times in 3 seconds unless you maybe animation cancel. Okay, her next talent. So based on those stacks, you can get a further attack bonus. Or oh, you automatically get a 10% in attack increase for 15 seconds. So it's like a budget noblesse. But it doesn't include the Emiya. Hey yo, this is gonna be sick. So all my supports, so Zing Show official should get uh, the buff after your Emiya's ult. Okay, let's try it out. Look at Zing Show's attack, it's actually a bit higher, and that's with no stacks because I did not attack with Yomiya at all. What am I doing? Time for a light show. I must withdraw. Bro, they need to they need to put more enemies! How dare you impede the work <laughs> they need to of the put enemies. Commission. Sir, we're here. Okay, we're dueling? Oh shit, okay, okay. Uh, Alright, official. Oh, right. Yo, yeah, let's throw in a, an Aether ult. Woo! Bro, did game, the game melted. Bro, this sounds are so good. Oh my god. Try another vape, let's get another vape comp going. Let me weave you a bird. Oh yeah, I need her. I need this character. Wow, okay. I'm gonna save my thoughts for later, but I think Yomiya's gonna be insane. <laughs> oh sh <laughs> So Yomiya, these fireworks, what do they mean to you? Yomiya? Shh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Alright, from the playtest, Yomiya is pretty cracked. All field supports can trigger her Auris Blaze, which is the passive from her burst. 
So Zing Show official Electro MC can proc this. And yeah, this so this explosion can trigger every two seconds for a duration of 10 seconds. So if you're using Zing Show official Electro MC who can constantly proc uh, this passive, then yeah, it's insane. You gain constant reactions, overload, vaporize, whatever. So after a burst, you can pop down your official E, you can switch back to your Mia, use her E, just just go ham. It's a lot better than I was expecting. So looking at our passives here, these passives were really well together. Uh, the way I was doing it earlier, my rotations weren't <laughs> optimal. I was using Q before using, and then I was using Q and then using E. But usually you should use E first, you know, auto attack, auto attack, Q. Uh, let your supports do the damage. Uh, maybe get sub DPS in. But if you want, you can do it where Yomiya also attacks during her ult, after her ult. So each stack increases this attack bonus by 1%. It's not that much, but it's something. It's a definitely a bonus, a bonus uh, boost, attack boost to your supports. And looking at the scaling here, it's it's good, but it's not like insane, you know, it's not gotten you insane. And this all depends on how you want to build your Emiya. Like looking at the upcoming weapon banner, Thundering Pulse Bow, it's made for her, yes. And as you can see, she gets an attack increase by 20%. And there is three stat levels that you can get, one by using her auto attack, one by using her E, and one by having her energy less than 100%. So if you use this weapon, if you somehow pull this weapon, you're gonna be wanna pressing Q, you know? Just say you get that 40% attack boost at refinement one. That's pretty insane. There is another weapon that does that that I wanna talk about. And that weapon is the Rusk. So this one's really good because it increases normal attack damage by 40%. But decreases charge attack damage by 10%. Honestly, I don't think you should be using charge attack. Uh, I didn't feel like the need to use it. I just just using the auto attacks was great. Yeah, this is just a flat out 40% increase at refinement one. If you have more refinements, insane. You can go up to 80. I think this is a good like budget weapon if you have it. The other four star weapon has to be the craftable bow. Increases normal attack damage by 16%. When equipping characters, energy which is 100%, this effect is increased by one. So this is the like, kind of the opposite of the five star bow, where you you basically don't want to press Q. <laughs> you don't want to press Q, and you just want to yeah, just leave it there because when your energy is 100%, you're gonna be getting 32%, which is slightly lower than the rust 40% and the thundering pulse. But you know you don't have to worry about ulting. But I, personally, I wouldn't use this bow just because I kind of want to use my Q when I can. I think it's a waste of damage if you're not using your Q. So use this bow, you know, if you want. I think with refinements, it's gonna be pretty good. So, you know, why not? But personally, I probably would go for the Rust if I had to choose between the four star bows. All right, as for the artifacts for Yoimiya, Shimenawa's Reminiscence, two piece attack, attack uh, 18% boost, uh, four piece set when casting a skill. If the character has 15 or more energy, they lose 15 energy. And the normal blah 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 damage is increased by 50%. Um, I don't know. This is this set is made for her because I don't see this set being good on pretty much any other character uh, unless it's very situational. But yeah, it, you basically you lose energy. So so she has what a 60 energy cost. So that's literally a quarter of her energy bar just gone. And and if you don't have 15 energy and you cast your skill, it's you're not gonna proc the four piece. That's just how it is. So yeah, you need to constantly have energy and you won't get your burst much. Even though I want to use her burst more often, I, I probably will just run this set just because it's it's nuts. Another option could be maybe two-piece reminiscence or two-piece glad, two-piece crimson. Um, if you have a good amount of crit rate, that could work too. Four-piece crimson is another good one, I think will be great on Yoimiya. So it increases power damage 50%. Increases overload and burning damage, so it, you can just go straight up and overload team. It'll work out. Vaporize and melt. I'm really tempted to go for four piece crimson, but I think I'm gonna have to stick with this. I think if you're really worried about energy, if you don't have the substats for your Emiya, and you're running, and you're running the four piece Remy, then I think running four piece traveler will be a great, a great option as a battery. Just to get that ER, oops. Fischl, holy shit. Um, I felt that was the stronger option. I'm not, I don't know about I you. Created another universe and found uh, if you have a C6, even better. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. Last thing I wanna talk about is Yoimiya's playstyle. It felt really nice. Uh, reminding me a lot of like 
DPS, not DPS, but physical official with the attack speed. It just felt really nice. Also, if you don't have the rust or you don't have any bro bow prototypes, uh, Black Cliff Warbow is a fine option. Why not? Rare Desert Hunt if you really want. Get that crit rate. The thing is, she does, she gets crit rate from ascending, so you want to build as much crit damage as possible. You know, you want to get some crit rate, but mostly crit damage. Crit damage circlet. And yeah, that is all. But I, I, she's definitely more than just a single target DPS. Her, her Q, her Q makes some potential for AOE with, some, with the right supports. It's gonna be insane. And yeah, but yeah, I'm hella rolling for Yoimiya. I skipped Ayaka for this. Primal's looking nice. Might lose to 50-50. Who knows? But yeah, I'm super excited for Yoimiya. Hey, thanks for watching the video.